Marvel is about to have another major flop on their hands with the upcoming Marvel's film, which is of course yet another woke installment in all of the woke nonsense that Marvel is continuing to put out. And there's a reason why they continue to see box office failure after box office failure, and a lot of this has to do with all the nonsense that they're continuing to put out in these films, and not just that, but they're giving us characters that we don't care about, they're giving us stories that we don't care about, and we could, we could care about these stories, we could care about these characters just in the same way that we did with Guardians of the Galaxy when that first came out, but of course they don't have an interest in giving us the stories that we want to see, or the stories that we want to care about at all. So, the same thing has happened with other films that Marvel has put out recently over the past couple of years. This is coming from the Ant-Man 3 film, which was a total failure in the box office. The box office flop was so bad that Ant-Man 3 became the lowest grossing MCU sequel movie in history. Sure, Ant-Man already was among the lowest grossing MCU franchises, seeing that he was introduced as a less lesser known character, but this surely isn't the start of Phase 5 that Marvel Studios and Disney had hoped for. And what did we continue to see happening with Disney especially? Every film that they're putting out is a failure, it is a box office failure, and now we have this new trailer that just came out for the Marvels, which is not doing all that great. This is on the official Marvel Entertainment channel, okay? And as you can see, it is about to get ratioed. Probably by tomorrow, this trailer is going to be ratioed. It currently sits at 17,000 upvotes to 16,000 downvotes. It is very close already to that. This is absolutely hilarious, and even in the comments here, you can see that it's getting destroyed. Not just here by the by the likes versus dislikes, but also in the comments when Rambo said to Carol, You go, girl! And then Kamala said, You're GD right, that is cinema. And the interesting thing about the comments that I want to make a note of is that I have noticed that they have been deleting negative comments. So pretty much every time there is a negative comment that is posted, it ends up just magically disappearing after a certain amount of time. It is very obvious that Marvel is trying to protect this film. It's very obvious that Disney is already trying to protect this film in the same way that they did with the Captain Marvel film that came out a few years ago as well. We saw Rotten Tomatoes completely change their entire rating system for that film. And since then, Marvel continues to do everything they can to protect these Marvel films for some reason, these Captain Marvel films. They continue to pretend that Brie Larson is the greatest thing that has ever happened. I love the part where Carol looks at them and smiles and says, you go girl slay and i've noticed that so many of these types of comments continue to, to magically disappear love the part where carol looks at them and smiles and says for frodo and of course i can't catch all of them because there are just so many overwhelming uh, there's just such a, an overwhelming amount of these types of comments that are happening this trailer looks absolute cringe okay everything about this is insanely cringy on so many different levels this film is going to be a film that nobody gives a flying crap about. That's why they had to put out this whole trailer, was to try to get you to care about these characters, like Monica Rambeau. Yeah, everyone is so excited for Monica Rambeau. Everyone is just jumping out of their seats, just ready. They're, they're camping out of the theaters, ready to go see Monica Rambeau and, of course, Miss Marvel as well. <laughs> This is what is happening, right? This is what we see happening. We see everyone just so excited, just jumping up and down and ready to go see Miss Marvel. Well, not even Captain Marvel. Nobody gives a crap about Captain Marvel. Every Nobody likes Brie Larson, okay? They aren't even letting Brie Larson go out there and talk about the film at all, which honestly is probably because a lot of it has to do with the whole SAG strike that is going on, that she's not able to talk about it, which honestly might actually play in the favor of this film, to be honest, in the long run, and may actually help boost the the box office but people are sick and tired of this people are sick and tired of the garbage and the nonsense that we continue to get from marvel that marvel is in a very very bad place disney is in a very bad place but they can continue to go woke all they want it's not going to work out for them it's going to continue to backfire so with all that being said let me know what you think about this in the comments below leave a like subscribe and i'll talk to you all in another video very soon